Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. Today's episode, we will learn about property binding. What is property binding? How to use it? We'll do some hands-on examples and exercises. So that will help you clear your understanding on property binding. My name is Shridhar. I bring knowledge on modern technology stack. I'm here to share my knowledge with you also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, feel free to add them in the comment section below and I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So I will really appreciate if you can support me by liking the video and also subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. So far, uh, we have covered around 18 tutorials 17 tutorials um, on Angular 9, starting from the basic introduction to version history. Uh, we have covered uh, most of these topics so far in detail. So if you have missed out on any of these tutorials, uh, please feel free to go back, check them out so that you don't miss out on the uh, valuable information. Also, I've created a playlist for you all. So if you want, you can please go back and check that playlist so you can go over all the tutorials, understand and master Angular 9. So far, we are continuing on data binding. So we are learning about data binding, which is a technique to bind data uh, from component to template and from template to component, two-way data binding, one-way data binding. In the last episode, uh, we learned about interpolation, uh, which is a technique to bind data from component to the view. We, we learned about how to use integers, numbers, we can use strings, we can use objects. So we have seen all that in detail in the last episode. So if you have missed out, uh, please feel free to check it out so that you don't miss out on the concept. In today's episode, uh, the focus is on property binding. Now, what is property binding? Property binding is a technique through which we can bind various properties of a DOM HTML elements to a uh, via component. Right, So we can have some values that we provide from component and we can bind it in the template. Again, property binding just like interpolation is a, is a one-way data binding, which means the data flows only in one direction from component to the template or the view. Now, these the properties that can be used are everything. So if you have any properties that you want to use, any HTML property, you can use it. So there is no restriction to any properties. We can use any property we want. And the way we define that, the syntax, we will put square brackets and then, sorry, my mistake, I put it here, double curly brace, it should be a square bracket. So put it in square bracket equal to expression. So let's see that uh, in detail and in um, uh, we're doing some hands-on examples now. Let's see that. So open your um, uh, app component dot HTML, right? And first let's go to app component dot TS. So here we are trying to bind it value, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a variable and I'm going to say color value equal to red, right? So this is nothing but a simple, we'll set some style property and then we'll change some uh, inner HTML also. So first, a simple variable, and I'm giving it a value called red. Now go to your app component.html, and here we'll put uh, div. I'm using div tags just to make it easy for you to understand. You can use any HTML that you want. Now in this, we will write, since I told you this is a property binding, so it would be written in square bracket, equal to. So now I will start double quotes and in curly brackets and I'm going to say color well. Now this is the same. This is example property binding. Here we are binding the property style if you see, right? Now I'll give you some more examples of how you can do actual properties uh, in the next episode, but um, in, the, in the coming tutorial. But for now, let's understand how to use different properties, right? So this is ng style. Here we are putting the style property color 
to the dynamic value color value which is in our app component .ts. So the expected output here is this text should be in the red color, right? Let's see that. So we see when you run the application, the color is set to red. Now this is coming as red color because of the value that is binded from the component, right? Similarly, I'm going to use one more. I'm going to use a paragraph and here I'm going to bind a property H property called inner HTML, right? Now this is again, so inner HTML, we want to pass a value. So I'm just copying an ex existing uh, variable, which we defined in last episode, which is nothing but just a string. So you see, I have a simple paragraph and I'm putting inner HTML property now, right? So let's see that an output. So you see it's coming inside this paragraph dynamically because of the property binding, which is inner HTML. Now, similarly, we can use any, any property binding we want, right? Now let's see one more. Um, let's say I have another DIV. I want to give a, a class name, right? ng class equal to in this, I'm going to put double quotes and then single quote inside it. Uh, I'm going to give a class name here. I'm going to call it class name equal to C1, right? And in the CSS file, SCSS, I'm going to add a property and say background hyphen color, hash DDD, that's gray color for you. And I'm going to assign the value here. Right. So what I'm doing here now is I've assigned a value, which is again, one way data binding dynamic value of the class coming from the component and directly um, uh, getting applied into our template file. Right. Let's see that in output. Okay. So it did not apply the reason being that there is, it's an empty div, right? So background or say setting class property via property the binding so see now it applied gray color and so this is how um, the properties are binded now remember this is a string so i can also use equal to c1 which is nothing but a variable um, okay so it says it doesn't know and what we are going to do is put single quotes and you have your value back. Now, this is how you can put any um, any property that you want to use. There is no restriction as to which property you want to use or what is the property. Uh, if you have a doubt that can I use any of this property or not? So feel free that if it's an HTML property, you can easily use it. For example, if you have an image, you can add source equal to again, the path which you want to provide. Uh, if you want to use an input and put some say title equal to, let me also show you that example quickly. So basically, uh, like I said, if it's an HTML property, you can easily use it to anything you want to say. Now let's see, there should be an input, but it doesn't have any uh, title or let's say placeholder, right? So here I'm going to put a placeholder and I'm going to say um, the placeholder should be value equal to enter value. Now take this to your HTML, put it here. Now we should see placeholder value that's coming up. It's coming up as a string because I've given it a string. So instead I'm going to make it a variable now you see, now you'll see the value, which is enter value, right? So remember, this is how we are binding the data from component to our template on the properties like placeholder, ng class, inner HTML, ng style. You can use any property you want, uh, especially with respect to href or image or any, any property you want to use you can easily bind it using property binding. All right, so that was about uh, the property binding tutorial. Uh, in the next episode, we will learn about attribute binding.
Uh, attribute binding is something similar to property binding. Uh, we will learn all about it. Uh, we'll learn how to use it, how is it different from property binding. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, give a thumbs up to this video if you like it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.